In Book 2 of the Aeneid, Aeneas tells Dido of the destruction of Troy. The narrative flashes back to where the Greeks, then at war with Troy, have apparently sailed away, leaving behind a giant horse. Laocoon, priest of Neptune, fears that the horse is a trap and attacks it. A Greek prisoner boy, Sinon, explains that the horse is an offering for Greek offenses against the goddess Pallas Athena, referred to as Minerva, and that a prophecy indicated Troy will invade Greece if they bring the horse into the city. Serpents then appear and kill Laocoon, a warning sign that Minerva is offended. The Trojans, incorrectly interpreting the serpents as a sign that Sinon is wrong about the horse being dangerous, bring the horse to Minerva's temple right in the heart of Troy. Sure enough, it's a now infamous Greek trick, and the Greek ships return in the night. The horse is full of hidden Trojan warriors who pour out and open the gates to the Greek army. The ghost of Hector alerts Aeneas that Troy is falling, urging him to leave. Aeneas roams the city and kills many Greeks, ending up at the palace where he witnesses the death of King Priam. Suddenly, Aeneas remembers his own father as well as his wife and son. His mother, Venus, appears, bidding him to flee Troy with his family, whom she has protected. All the gods are against Troy now. At first, Aeneas' father, Anchises, refuses to leave, but two signs change his mind. A crack of thunder crashes to the left of them, and a star shoots down, persuading Anchises that he should follow his son out of Troy. Carrying his father and holding his son's hand, Aeneas runs to escape the city. His wife, Creusa, follows behind. When they arrive at their meeting spot, Aeneas realizes Creusa has been lost in the confusion. He returns to the burning city to find her, but her ghost appears to him. It is her fate never to leave Troy, but Aeneas will find a new queen in Hesperia, which will eventually become Italy. Signs and omens which abound in the Aeneid feature prominently in this book of the poem. Sometimes they're perfectly clear. Other times, not so much. The Trojans know the serpent attack on Laocoon is a terrible omen, but they interpret it incorrectly as a sign that he was wrong about the danger posed by the giant horse. Snakes are also a motif in the poem, usually signaling death or destruction. The fire that plays over the head of Aeneas' son is a sign to Anchises and foreshadowing of Ascanius' fate as a great king of Italy. Fire is both inspiring and vengeful. A flame appearing above Ascanius' head signifies a good omen of future triumph. Also, father-son relationships are of the highest importance in the Aeneid, the pinnacle of devotion to the family that is part of Roman piety.